MEPs have called on member states to close accounting black holes running to billions of euros over the funds they get from the EU. MEPs responsible for budget oversight say sectors where the worst of it happens are also the EU's most expensive, agriculture and cohesion. This after another damning report, the 18th in a row, from the Court of Auditors, chronicling big misuse and faulty accounting of EU funds in the 2011 budget. Funds are misused, so that has to be corrected, of course. Uh, but secondly, we also realize that the bureaucratic burden for the beneficiaries is too high and we wonder as a parliament why the member states don't take the opportunity together with the commission and the parliament to simplify the rules and to lower the error rates. As Parliament awaits settlement of the EU's long-term budget, the tight time frame for the long-awaited reform of the common agricultural policy just got tighter. The vote in Parliament has now been shunted forward by two months, jeopardising the chain of talks that have to be completed in the first half of 2013 if the reform is to come into force the following year. Things are little better in the water. A vote on a Commission draft of common fisheries policy reform, also slated for November, has been delayed by three weeks. Better news for consumers and users of pyrotechnics in Europe. They have a wide range of application beyond private and public festivities, including in the automotive industry, to trigger airbags. MEPs on the Internal Market Committee this week passed legislation bringing into line market rules governing this and other sectors, harmonising and simplifying the process. We are trying to reduce red tape by making it easier uh, to understand the rules when you are a manufacturer or a distributor or an importer uh, of goods to the European market. But on the other hand, it's also a question of creating better safety for uh, consumers and businesses in Europe.